Welcome back folks to Let's Play Spunty's Brain. When last we left off, we were going here to train to recruit some volunteers. And then I think we're pretty much going to dump all these soldiers off in this castle and start again with the training. Because I want to start again with it. This castle is inevitably going to get sieged at some point. This castle is still under siege, which pretty much denotes the end of Swadia. Swadia is doomed. It is doomed to fail. I've never actually had Swadia be completely wiped out, but it looks like it might be getting pretty close this time. Let's manage the garrison. We'll dump off nine knights, 17 men at arms, 12 footmen, four sharpshooters, crossbowmen. Hmm. Hmm. I could could take some people out and train them, but to be honest, I'm just going to stick with this small group of people here, which is a uh, whole 12. And we're going to recruit back again from the castles. Also, do you guys want to join me? Yeah. Two forest bandits. Can't do anything wrong with that. They eventually become Swadian recruits, so... Recruit! Five. Nice. Yes, all manner of people are going to try and beat me up again, but that's inevitable. We've dumped off about 50 soldiers into Dirim. Which is going to help us be more protected should anything decide they want to declare war on me directly. Also, that's not as much training because we don't have as many people in here anymore. This is when we go to Baduna and they're like, Here are 20 men at arms! I've actually had that happen, and it is fantastic. So what got lost here? Oh, they took Samara Castle. Jamiad originally was actually Saranid. So yeah, as I as predicted, the Kurds are slowly making incursions into Saranid territory. Eventually, normally, it's the Nords versus the Kurgit. That was what it was like in my last single-player playthrough anyway. Ah, Raduna, how are you doing? You're going to give me five whole men. I'm less impressed with how you're doing right now. <laughs> there is a... there is a, uh... Vega? The Vegas always don't seem to get very big. The Nords tend to expand quite heavily. <laughs> I don't know if that's a trick of the uh, difficulty I'm used, I am uh, playing on this time, but uh, they don't tend to expand hugely. There is uh, Lord Caraban. No one. This man is full of Swadian and Kurgit stuff. That's impressive. Has Suno uh, switched sides yet? It will. I don't even think the Swadians have enough troops to stop it. There are still a lot of counts. There are not going to be a lot of counts for very long. Mainly because they are, um, they're going to lose that. And they're going to lose, four people are going to lose their, um, vassalhood. So they're going to lose their fiefs. And they're not going to be happy that they've lost their fiefs either. And they'll slowly deteriorate, like my people did, and then they will leave. For Swadian recruits. All good. There are all of these little places here that we'll make a loop around on. And I should actually sell the stuff in my inventory. Knowing me, I've picked the wrong poem as well. But no, I can play chopsticks. Do 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 do. And she's looking there with a very unimpressed face as he uh, plays the piano horribly. Oh, did they take that castle back? They must have done. Two more recruits. These 
places, most people don't actually uh, care for me much, so I'm not going to get many people. It's Raduna that I really should have worked all the way back up to 100 relation. 100 relation, you'll really start to see the good soldiers coming along. <laughs> Yalib. Four. <laughs> Manor to 36 men. Well, 33, not including uh, me and my two companions. Suno is no longer under siege. Wow. You managed to break the siege? That's impressive. Perhaps the Swadians have bite after all. I doubt it, but perhaps they do. I'm going to pop off in Halmar briefly. Just sell off all this rubbish that I've got here. And then we'll head back to Raduna, make another circuit. And then I think we'll probably go kick the ass of some uh, Sea Raiders, don't you think? We'll head over to Swadian territory and defeat some forest bandits. Stay in that general area. Well, we have some rubbish that we can sell you. Remember the days when this would be actually decent money? We'd look at this and be like, oh yeah, 299 dinars! And then you look at now at the fact that we have like a billion dinars. Yeah, it doesn't seem as special anymore. Having loads of money is really good in the game. It does show that you've you've made it. But at the same time, there is a small bit of joy to be had out of struggling and scrimping and saving. But there we go. We're all well and good now. <laughs> so yep, once uh, once Spunty has had a wedding, that's it. The end of the reign for now, because we've seen a lot of what the game has to offer. We've sieged castles, we've been besieged. We've done tournaments and merchants and you've seen how me, me selling things and recruiting people, training up an army from scratch. There's not much more to see. Yes, I could, in theory, sweep over the entire of Calradia, probably with time, but it takes forever. It really does. I mean, we've been playing at this for a very long time. And if you don't believe me, let's uh, try and find a report. No, that's not correct. But there's definitely a really, really, really long time that's been played in this game. I mean, we can save. We can find out. Yeah, we've nearly been going for two-thirds of a year. To say that we've carved out this tiny little empire in two-thirds of a year is actually quite impressive. It's not bad. more people to upgrade, the more people you have, the more people can upgrade. And now we can recruit some vault. 19! That's more like it. That's much more like it. I like that. 19 recruits. Yes, most of my army is currently absolute trash, but Yes! I will go! She's currently in Praven. We are on our way, madam! And somebody has run away to join the Nords. <sighs> Nobody's run away from Spuntytopia yet. I imagine people are just generally happy. Usually the people that run away are the ones that don't have territory anymore. Or who feel like they've been very slighted by not getting territory themselves. Most of my men do not have a lot of Actual soldiers, though. Recruit. No one is willing to join. Ugh. There's still this place before we get to Praven. We can go the way of uh, Berglund as well. I just want the uh, 
amount of people that I can get. I think you can hand people troops as well, raise their relation that way, go, here are some men. And they go, oh, that's cool, thank you. But I prefer to let my men do their own recruiting. One solitary man. That's not a lot of people. That is not a lot of people at all. Knowing us, that poem that we just got is horrendous. I got lucky, I think, the last time I uh, got a poem. She really liked it. Our first man-at-arms in our new little army. That puts us up to ten of those and five archers. So I get to twenty footmen and then um, another... Wait, ten, for every ten footmen, five skirmishers. Good plan. No, no, no. This way. You don't need to head down to go head to Berglund. Trust me. One more recruit, and that does put us at 63, but two of these are forest bandits. And there's another 18,000 dinars. Yeah, it's safe to say money will never be a problem again as long as we retain the territory we have. <laughs> we're, not even, we're not paying taxes to a king either, because we are the king. <laughs> no need to pay taxes to yourself. It's not how taxes work. Well, they are still running from me. They fear my army, if only the numbers. So she seems to be hanging around in Praven. It's not terrible. 24 Swadian men at arms. If I actually had an army worth looking at, I would actually go deal with that, but I really don't. I'd love to recruit some of them. But I only have one Swadian man at arms, so it would probably end in a disaster. Yeah, this is not an army that can be used to defeat that. Just cordoned off, as they will be. Poor Swadia. They had so much going for them, and then I got involved and stole Raduna. You know, being mean and all. Sort of something that he does. The king of Spuntitopia. Well, let's try reading this poem. I'm actually... I'm actually sort of tempted to reload if the poem doesn't work, because I don't want to lose relation here. There's a feast going on. Who is the lady? Go with the nurse. Yes, I know. You're a different nurse. Did the last nurse get fired? Probably did. <laughs> Probably did. Ah, King Spunty. You must have received my message. Do you like poetry? Uh, let's try this poem. She liked it! It is very worthy and philosophical. But if I'm listening to a barge on a loop for three hours, I personally prefer to be a bit of a story. Okay. You cannot linger here too long. Do we have a future? Ah! Oh, King Spunty, how happy that would make me! But my father, Count Greymod, would never allow it. Perhaps it is best we part. But what? After all this time I've spent? I've visited you, like, twice? And dedicated a tournament I'd already won to you, and r recited one poem? No! Never! We must elope together at once! Good King Spunty, you are a good and kind man, but a lay cannot fight. Such things cannot be done. Uh, oh, dearie me. Oh no, I've actually got to get him to like me? You're not the kind of person that just wants to elope? Oh, the last person wanted... Oh dear. Right. Okay. Looks like the Let's Play is not going to be over this time, because we need to still impress her father. 
Well, where is he right now, anyway? Where is your father? Is he here? Is this Count Greenwood? Is this Count... Where is he? Where is the location of Count Greenwood? Suno. Hmm. I will return, and when I do, I'm gonna gain favor with her father. Catch you later. See you then. Later.